you this. Ask the Buddhist therapist has been something I've been thinking about for years and years and trying to figure out how different ways to uh, share it with people, which essentially I think people have a lot of interest in what Buddhist psychology has to say about how to deal with common, well not common, but problems that might typically go into or be dealt with in a therapist's office or dealt with in terms of modern psychology. See how it goes. It's kind of spontaneous in one way because you never, you know, there's not one answer for each problem. There are multiple thousands of ways of dealing with different issues that come up for people with depression, anxiety, or family stuff, or whatever. But this is quite different in that we're going to um, try to be practical and helpful, but at the same time, not diverge or water down the the fundamental Buddhist principles around psychology, those principles are, are quite different than, mo than modern psychology. So it's interesting because I don't want to just give answers that sound good, you know, from because that's what people can handle, as opposed to, you know, what would Buddhist, psycho uh, Buddhist Lama or practitioner, how would he or she help the person to overcome these psychological problems. And Buddhism is a psychology, complete psychology. So why wouldn't we have this discussion? So what we're going to do is, uh, I think for this first one, we're going to have a live presentation. I'll uh, present some content around Buddhist psychology, and then we'll open it up for people to ask questions, and we'll see how it goes. So it should be fairly interactive. There's, there'll be an audience uh, presence, so if people can show up for that, that's fine. And if not, we are going to stream it live and take questions from people who will chat in their questions. Not orally, but uh, through texting. Mm -hmm.